Right, welcome to the video. This is uh, just the, the usual up chat thing about golf clubs and how you can get some cracking bargains um, at this time of year. Uh, cash for clubs, not sponsoring the video, not helping in any way, uh, not associated to the channel. Um, I just mention them because they're good value for money and um, I shop online, I use eBay quite a bit and I got a club, that got delivered, bing, there it is um, and why am I talking about a club that, I th I'd need to google it, I think it came out early 2000, 2005 maybe uh, Callaway Steelhead 3, 3 wood because um, you know I don't get given clubs, nobody sends me them uh, I have to buy them myself and I was thinking back to times when I had a really good three wood you know and over the years I've had some cracking three woods the one I've got just now is the Cleveland Classic uh, we'll ping that in uh, and uh, it's a regular flex right and if anything I need to go a wee bit easy with it especially with a new swing because I'm absolutely nailing everything eh? so I thought over the years my top three three woods of all time right Obviously, the Callaway Steelhead 3 is in there because I've just went and bought it. I'll tell you what I paid for it. 12 bucks delivered. That is incredible. It was over 120, 130. It might even have been 140 quid when it was new. A firm, stiff shaft, 15 degree loft. So that was obviously an absolutely amazing 3-wood. I loved that 3-wood. Now, the other... Two three woods that have just been of all time amazing. The Nike Sasquatch three wood with a with a auto aligned sole. That was an awesome three wood, unbelievable three wood. Even my mate Bruni wanted that three wood. That's how good that three wood was. It was like cr crunching. He could hit it two fifty on the fly. Now the other a uh, amazing three wood was the original OG tailor-made V-Steel 3-wood. That thing was unbelievable. It was... Now, they, it was so good, tailor-made launched it again. But I don't think it was as good as the original. So if you get a chance, go on the Cash for Clubs website and check out Callaway uh, Steelhead 3. Have a look at them for the price. And also check out the tailor-made V-Steel Originals. Because you can pick them up at next to nothing. Now, 12 quid for a three wood, which is a gamer club, right? Off the deck. And if you're not comfortable with the driver, or if the hole's downwind, bang the three wood. It'll go twice as far as the driver. All right, no twice as far, but it goes further because it stays in the air longer because it's going higher. Wind catches it, more spin, stays up in the air, goes further downwind. Also, uh, the three wood it tends to be straighter. Now the Callaway Steelhead three wood that you see here, uh, picked it up. Condition, mm, mm, it's been well used. Let's put it that way. But I'll give the guy due, as you can see by the top of it, he's consistently skied it right the way across the top line. So it now looks quite cool. <laughs> but listen, for twelve quid, I could touch that up with some uh, touch up paint. I'll just need to get the silver. I'll take the club into the, I'll take the club into Halfords and I'll colour match it, and they, everyone will look at me going, "What the hell are you doing?" And I'll say, "I'm looking for that silver." <laughs> hey, it's it's worth a go. It'll probably work, he said. That's what she said. Um, so uh, that's been the video, and obviously we will be hitting this thing out in the course and ripping it, and we'll film some of that because you're always interested in that. But the sound off the Callaway Steelhead Three. Manu Fiki. It was like a it wasn't a it was like a ting. That that's the best way to describe it. It's like a ting. But it's not like an out and out like you know what I mean? It's not like a horrendous noise. When you catch it out the middle, you know it's out the middle because it goes ting and I mean it's like a rocket off the face. It was one of Callaway's best uh, fairway woods ever, really. And Callaway have made some cracking fairway woods. The original steelhead wood before that with a kind of S sole, that's a good one too. But I couldn't pick one up at the same money, bizarrely. So I remembered from the top of my memory banks that, look, I used to play all these clubs back in the day 
And I've, I'm buying everything myself, right? I'm building my bag. I'm not got much money. So I'm trying to do it on a budget. What was I hitting the best? Because three woods are three wood. There's no technology gain over the years. So that was the one that I went for. Like I said, there was two others that have been absolute belters. But by the way, the Cleveland Classic that I've currently got, it'll take some beating to get that permanent out of the bag. That's all I'll say on that because that Cleveland Classic, I think it's Cleveland Classic black tie or something. It's all black. But what a rip that thing gives as well. I mean, I'm just an old school player. I like the old school bag with standard lofts, no jacked lofts. 54, 58 gap. A three wood, a driver. Sometimes I put a hybrid in. Very rarely though. That That's a 1980s bag. But that's what I grew up playing. So I'm stuck in the 1980s. I like Calvin Harris. I'm stuck in the 80s. It was acceptable in the 80s. Something like that. Right, so thanks for watching. We'll leave it on that. Will we play it with some more music? Because you guys have been thumping that like button on the last one. But uh, I think we'll leave it, eh? Yes, don't want uh, to... My vocal cords, I don't want to stress them too much after my singing exploits. Funnily enough, Simon Cowell hasn't he been in contact. Um, neither is uh, Kylie Minogue. I really thought I could have done a duet with Kylie. Uh, they've yet to reach out, but, you know, fingers crossed, smash that like, subscribe button. Uh, the support's always welcome. The phone that films this vlog and every other thing on the channel is called The Nothing Phone. They are supporting the channel. That's right, nothing is supporting this channel. See you all soon.